So, Hi everyone, my name is Matt uh, Matthias. I'm the founder of Somatic Consent and the Somatic Consent Engagement System. And my main work is a somatic neurological mix of um, touch communication to let people find a deeper layer of receiving, to be embodied and empowered and to connect. So I'm over 23 years now into Tantra. So I started in the age of 27 or so. Um, end of the 90s. So I'm, an, I'm a fossil, nearly, I would say so. And um, so I've been practicing just on my own for about 10 years, just with my partner and, and being in relationships. So on a self-discovery. And then in 2010, I recognized that I'm ready to go public and want to teach and learn more how to teach. I uh, came across different modalities, went through different schools and um, never stopped learning everything and came across the somatic consent work 2014-15 and um, have been educating facilitator and practitioner. I'm a body worker myself professionally, so I do a lot of physical body work with clients. And I have learned that this is an engagement that nearly everyone needs, specifically working with clients. So I've expanded that into the realm of um, individual work and then professional work and um, in this uh, lockdown or the pandemic just we all go online and sharing our gifts and that's what I want to do share my gifts here with you that you can enjoy yourself on a deeper level the consent lab the sexy side of consent that is a very uh, engaging interactive uh, workshop where you can ask for what you really want as well expressing your limits and your boundaries to um, be empowered to say no. So most people are very scared of expressing their limits and saying no. In this workshop, we encourage you to say no because saying no to somebody else's question is part of the workshop. So some people might feel rejected. Some people might feel a little bit scared and some people feeling really excited because you might have a yes and then you can go into an interaction in a breakout room exactly as you like it. So the first thing that we do is we going in one of the main, the core exercises of this dynamic so that we just feeling on a, on a physical level, on the level of our skin, that we can go in action towards our own pleasure so that we activate our skin. And what that is doing when we're uh, um, practicing that in a group, we're creating a group field that we have all the same possibilities. And then we're just playing some fun games, how to engage in asking these questions, making authentic requests and um, expressing our limits and boundaries in really saying authentically no and yes. So we just play that within the group. And then when everybody is in that place of being comfortable with their capability of making requests and expressing their limits, then we're making real time uh, requests in the um, group with all and then you can ask a request to somebody else would you like to go with me in a breakout room and practice with me xyz whatever your desire is in an agreed amount of time and then you go in that breakout room and do exactly what you have agreed upon and then you come back so mm. it's very fun it's very engaging it's very uplifting and liberating engaging with other people like-minded who connect and feel you will learn a ton and you can use it in your daily life everything that happens in the breakout room is confidential so nobody knows then except you and the person you're ending up in a breakout room and then you do that what you have agreed upon it's very intimate it's very direct and close and um you will have a lot of uh, really nice deep experiences. The background of the Consent Lab comes from a game that calls the three minute game that um, my mentor Harry Fettis has invented about 23 years ago or something. And it comes from this very deep spiritual um, dynamic from the Rumi poem. You must ask for what you really want, don't go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. And when we can engage on an uh, not only on a material level, but as well on a soul level and asking for what we really want, we can step into the connection and space with each other where we can be the divine for the other or the other can be the divine for us so that we meet in the spirit of divine. And only in this place, in my experience, there's real surrender possible. 
and giving your gift of power and deep intimate connection of yeah, an upward spiral in feeling each other. I mean, the main thing is that most people that I know, they're engaging with the dynamics of the shadows, having this expectation or assumptions, or they're pleasing and they're just doing and give something to belong. And they have then this need of something coming back. And this is what I call the engagement shadows. And when we know that we have a right and responsibility for our expression of our desire, when we know to put ourselves first, then we can just literally... Um, organically engage in a very um, sweet way and we becoming the creator of our reality how we want to live it. My um, recommendation or advice if you want to say so is don't try to understand it so don't mm. try to get the concept or making a concept out of it so the main thing is just go into your body and feel so get present with that what is don't make a story out of it and just enjoy what you experience. And with this um, depth of experience, there will come deeper layers of understanding from within and you don't have to search for them in the outside. But the three key components of this tantric work, just as a little gift here, is sound. So use your voice, your breath. So breathe deeply and move your body in any way you feel comfortable with. So that's the three key components. I can feel like a collective pain, the collective withdrawal of connection with other people. And we are all as, you know, as mammals, as humans, we are dependent on physical connection with other people. And as many people have been um, withholding their need of connection and touch, um, I guess, I hope, I wish for all of us that this will end pretty soon. And then we need to come together in connection and that what I provide and what I offer to you gives you a kind of foundational tool when you want to engage with other people on a somatic, on a physical, emotional um, level that you have the tools of asking for what you want with whom you want that. Express your limits when somebody else is asking you and you can as well speaking out invitations or offerings that people have the time with you that they choose to have. So you will learn a lot and you can use that in your daily life and implement that in any situation where you engage with other people. And I hope this will help us after this pandemic to um, create a new level of consciousness of engaging with another.